We are here with Kayla and Nolan, who are the founders of Mental House Plans, and we have a few questions for them today, but we'll let them get into who they are and why they created their company. Yeah. Uh, so, like she said, we're Mental House Plans. We started the idea of this company in October of last year. I had a full-time job at the time. It was contracted, and he was finishing up school. Um, we knew my contract was coming to an end, but we also wanted to do something where we could work for ourselves, be our own bosses and stuff. Right, and be together doing this too, which right. is awesome. Right, and I've had, um, so I have an ADHD diagnosis, and that has impacted how my employers and stuff view me too, because not a lot of employers understand it necessarily, right. you know. So we were very passionate about um, being focused on mental health before we even decided we wanted it to be about plants. Right. Um, during COVID, I got really into plants. Um, we all did. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Well, at the same time, I had started going to therapy, and I had just received, at 25, an ADHD, anxiety, and PTSD diagnosis. And he also recently had his diagnoses, too. With the chaos in the world that was going on, my mind felt exactly the same way. And so my therapist recommended channeling that into something. And for me, that was really daunting because, like I said, I have ADHD. So trying to think of a new hobby or something is right. very hard because right. it's hard to stay on one, you know? Right. But I, I've always been a nature lover. I mean, I have nature-filled tattoos. Oh, and oh wait, show the camera. Those are awesome. Oh, yeah. Wow. And then the we love that. Yeah. I mean, not many. I want more, but anyways. Right. <laughs> um, and so I was like, let's give it a try. And, you know, I was horrible at first. And, you know, I hear that yeah, all the time. We hear that all the time yeah. when I tend to, oh, I have a black thumb. I'm so bad. And I always make them feel better by saying, the first 20 or 30 plants I've ever owned, I've killed. Like, I... Out of the first of those plants, I only have a Golden Pothos, a ZZ, and a Monstera Deliciosa left. Oh, and, sound beautiful. Yeah, and now I have over 70 house plants in my collection because I didn't stop. I wanted to keep learning, and right. once I started seeing it thrive, I loved it. Right. Um, and in those moments, I started to realize that I was really grounded into the present moment. My mind wasn't wandering or so stressed about the future. Mm -hmm. um, my anxieties washed away, and it was just me and that plant in that moment. And so when we were thinking about doing it with plants, he had the mental health idea and was like, let's do research. And there was a whole lot of research behind the mental health idea. And so that's how we took it. We combined it and we got mental health plants. Um, so what made you want to add the mental health piece to it? Yeah. So she, like she said, she got into it during COVID. Um, and I could see how when she would be working on them, it would ground her and she'd look at them, she'd smile every day, you know, and she was also really into nature, hiking and all that. And with COVID, we were really all stuck in the house. So it just made sense that bringing nature into your home would have that same like kind of ecotherapy effect. Um, For the example that you were literally setting. Right. That, yeah. Yeah. So I saw her and then I started looking at the research because um, I'm very scientific and stuff like that. I love that stuff. I like facts. I like facts, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so once I saw the facts were there, um, I was basically sold on the idea. I started um, getting the research together. Uh, then we started doing the business plan and basically the rest is history. Wow. You know? yeah. yeah. So I love that you guys have two different ideas and then coming together, it makes it so powerful. And I love how you, like, it's not that you were like, oh, I want to make this business. It's like you went through this experience that made you want to help other people experience it as well. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah, okay. we both grew up with families where mental health wasn't really talked about. Right. Um, we're both the older child of single moms that have siblings. Yeah. So, Look you know, us. you know, we the attention wasn't always on us. Um, and being a woman, ADHD is often looked over. And so we just want to help other people know that they're really not alone out there. You know, it's we both have felt like we didn't understand our own minds, like we were different, like there was something wrong. But at the end of the day, really, there's not because just right. like some people need glasses for their physical health, right. your mental health is the same thing. You know, it's the same kind of biological makeup right. that you just can't see it. That's the only difference. And and just because you can't see it doesn't mean it can't be understood. Exactly. So we really just we really want to just help people feel understood, seen, heard, let them know they're not alone. And like you guys do, break that stigma because it wasn't like our family is kind of right aren't really you know so, <laughs> so how has how have you felt like you've thrived from opening up this business like how has it made you feel watching other people being able to do the same things that you were able to do to make your mental health better it's awesome so we just opened up uh in march uh we're still relatively new past march. Yeah, yeah this march where are you, no, no. Where are you? Yeah, we're from Fall River, but yeah. we have an online store. We don't have um, like a okay. physical store, but he's actually about to tell you a little bit about that, aren't you? What's the website? <laughs> website, www.mentalhouseplants.com. Love that. Yep. Nice and simple. That's right. Um, sorry, what was the question? 
What was the question? Oh, uh, oh, how do you feel now that you've experienced other people enjoying what your wife has enjoyed and now has helped her mental health, right? That was yeah, good. It's, it's been awesome. Um, you know, she is more in charge of the Instagram, so she sees a lot of that back and forth. But when we come to these events, I'm always, I'm always blown away. I'm always surprised by how many people come up and say, but yeah, they you know they do feel those benefits when they work on their plants and stuff. Um, and just the stories that people feel comfortable sharing too. Like we've had women say plants have really helped them through their postpartum depression. We've had people yeah. share stories about how plants help them overcome their addiction. We've had conversations where plants have helped people overcome suicide and all that right. stuff. And it's so inspiring. You know, I I've um, I personally have done a lot of philanthropy, so like this. Philanthropy's always touched my heart, but nothing like mental health philanthropy does. Like even just listening to their speeches earlier, we know we're doing exact. Oh, sorry. No, I'm I'm fixing the bug off you. Oh, okay. Um, essentially, coming to these things helps both of us feel like we are exactly where we're supposed to be right now. Even though it's new at the start of our business and all that, it doesn't matter. We know that we're going to take this far. We know that we're going to help a lot of people, and that's really. That's really what gets us going every single day. Right, right. So what is your business? Like, is it, are you selling pan plants? Or are you helping people with the knowledge of how you build plants? Like, not build, but grow plants. A little bit of both. Uh, so we have an online store. Uh, that's how we originally opened. That's all we were going to do. Um, and we also have, uh, like, blogs and resources and stuff about the uh, benefits um, and how to care for your plants and all that. So we sell plants, we donate a portion of every sale to the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Oh, we just signed a contract with them so we're officially partners. Nice. High uh, five everybody. Yeah, Let's you. go. It's very exciting. You know, yeah. And um, we essentially promote the healing power of plants to have yes. on your mental health. So that's why we do what we do. Do you guys love succulents? Because I love succulents. Yeah, we like succulents. Yeah. We love succulents. Yeah. All plants. <laughs> Last question for you guys. What is your most memorable testimony? Oh, wow. Okay, so our very first, for me personally, our very first philanthropy walk we did was actually the NAMI Mass Walk back mm -hmm. in May. And there was a group home that came, there, a recovery home. I don't know the proper term, and I'm sorry for that. Um, but these people came, and they're not allowed to carry money or anything like that, but they really like the idea of plants. And there was this one guy who was sharing a story um, about overcoming his addiction and how he used to really be into plants, and he misses them so much, and he really wished he could have one. Um, but because they don't have the money and right. so you know we were really touched by that we we're like oh my god you've done so good you've come so far and so for him and his home we gave them a couple of plants oh. and they were so touched and I could really tell like by his face like complete 360 like right. so it was that was really inspiring for me that was very genuine of you to do thank and I can imagine his plants are thriving right now yeah. and they're doing amazing yeah well thank you guys for sharing your story and who you are and who, what your business is we can't wait to follow you guys on Instagram and for me to get a plant I love my succulent so I'll be getting a succulent Absolutely. But thank you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are freaking awesome. Are you serious? <laughs> thank you. Well